everybody, welcome back. It's your girl Rakia. I hope you're having a great day. I hope you're having a great night. It's been a while since I've done a haul and I wanted to show you guys some things that I've gotten recently. This haul has a purpose, I'm not gonna lie, and it's really important to me. But before we get into all that, obviously, if you could like this video, subscribe to your girl's channel, and just share, that would be amazing. I thank you so much. And we can get right into this video. This haul isn't just any normal haul for me. It is my birthday haul. A little story time. Around 2018, when I moved from Maine to Texas, I decided for my birthday, I was going to give myself a gift every day up until my birthday. So my birthday is on December 17th. Today is December 16th. It's the day for my birthday. And 2018, 2019, and this year is going to be the third year. So I guess it's a tradition now. It's an annual thing. I can call it our annual, my annual gift giving, whatever. Um, basically, yeah, so I, I would, from December 1st on to the 17th, I would just give myself every day some sort of gift. Sometimes they're physical stuff, like materials, sometimes there are promises, whatever, whatever. So last year, I wanted to kind of do a little bit of theme with the year. And the theme last year was delayed gratification because a majority of the gifts that I had gotten for myself I wasn't going to see the benefit of them until later in this in this year. And some of the examples were signing up for like my MCAT course. I got the class and I signed up for it and I took in all that stuff. 2020 kind of sucks so the delayed gratification didn't really uh, age too well but I just wanted some sort of theme. And this year I did not want to do it. Like I didn't want to do it at all this year. I didn't want to give myself anything every single day. I just thought it was too much pressure. It was a burden. Like I wasn't even excited for it and I didn't like that feeling so I just didn't want to do it. But somehow I've managed to essentially buy something new every day. That speaks to who I am normally. Like I'm out every day and I'll buy something. And I realized last night I was looking around and I'm like noticing a bunch of new things and I'm like... I definitely... Did 17 days of gift giving I have almost 17 gifts I'm sure so I think it's safe to say this year the theme was no pressure the theme was laid back I get what I want when I want I wasn't gonna get one thing every single day sometimes I got five things six things seven things in one day and I got nothing for the next four days and that just sums up how I feel about this year perfectly so I'm really happy about that. I do want to get into the haul and show you guys some of my favorite items that I got. Some of the gifts, some of the gifts are from Sephora. A lot of the gifts are from Sephora. Some of the gifts I got from IKEA, some from Target. They're all over the place. But I just want to show you first. I want to do a Sephora haul just to show you guys like what I was really feeling there. I haven't been to Sephora physically and like actually bought stuff in a long time. Probably before the pandemic hit. First couple things are perfumes. I got this perfume, it's the Gucci Flora. This is it, and that's the box for it, and this is what it looks like. Um, I love this one. I have another one right there, she's finished, so I thought it was good to re-up. I got this as a gift last year for my brother, Mohammed, and I loved it so much that I needed to get it for myself, so I bought it for myself this year. I'm really happy about it. The second thing I got was also a perfume. This is... Chanel Chance, it comes in this box. I'm showing you guys the boxes in case you wanna like buy this stuff yourself. This is like the box to look for. And this is what it looks like. My mother wore this perfume for ages. I'm talking throughout my entire childhood. That was her scent. So for a long time, I really just associated my mom with that smell and when I got older I like obviously wanted to find my own smell but it's nice to have that like aromatic experience of just remembering your childhood. The next items on the list are the cream gloss bombs from Fenty Beauty. I got three colors. I got the cookie jar. Cookie jar. That's this one right here. She's very creamy, very creamy guys. These are so creamy. I got these three because I didn't really want the red one and the other pink one. No thanks. Um, so I got the cookie jar, honey waffle. Honey waffle is like a caramel color. This is the color I have on today, very cute. And then I also got the Fenty Glow. It's creamy, but it's literally the classic, like think about the first lip gloss Fenty ever dropped. Very natural makes your lips juicy all that so I got these three I got like the Fenty mascara 
Um, I got the Fenty concealer are these lashes from Sephora. They're called the Feisty. Very cute. I'm excited to try them on. Um, and then some tweezers. I like these little to-go tweezers I get. So that was like the notable purchases from Sephora. Oh, first of all, I got this chair that I'm spinning on. Let me show you this chair. This chair is from Ikea. So that's this chair. This um, coat rack. I just literally got it. Set it up last night. I'm very excited about it. I had a coat rack before, but unfortunately, we moved and my aunt threw it away. And this is the chair. You guys get a better look at it. And then I also got a pair of Uggs. I'm a big sucker for Uggs. I love me some Uggs. And I saw these on Instagram and they were just so cute. I haven't worn them out. I don't plan on wearing them out. These are house shoes for me. My feet get cold a lot and they're just also really comfortable. So I'm glad I got these ones. And I got this little cleaner that came with it. I'm very excited to use it because I have other pairs of Uggs and um, I've had them for a while. My first pair, I think I bought them three years ago. They were the same color, but they were Bailey Bows. And then my second pair were also Bailey Bows, but they were black. Um, I love Bailey Bows. The little ones are so cute. I love those. But I wanted to clean up those other ones and make them kind of feel new again. I bought this whole outfit from H&M. Very cute. I will say, they t it's a little bit see-through. Like when, obviously when the color, like my pants are up to here, you could probably see that. And then like this area when it's on top of each other, like very nice and covered. But on their own, it's a little annoying. So I would wear like bike shorts if you have biker shorts, a tank top or a t-shirt if you have that. Um, other than that though, very cute, very comfy. They have like a little flare action going at the bottom. Very cute. Oh God. This, I didn't buy this for myself. It was a gift. Thank you so much to Ayan Iman. She's on YouTube too. Shout out to her. Follow her. I'll put her page down below. She got this for me because me and everyone else, because me and literally everyone else on this planet was like, what are you wearing? What is that? It smells so good. What is that? What is that? And finally she, she told me. She got it for me. She didn't even tell me. She got it for me. Oh, I got two new records. Oh my God. They're so far away, I don't feel like getting them. I basically got these records, I'm gonna show them right here. Um, Forest Hills Drive, of course, J. Cole, great album, saw that live, saw him in concert. That album was amazing. A really good, complete body of work. This one, mature level, like, just production-wise, quality, the weight of songs, like, it's really well put together, so that's why I love that album. And the second album, it's Harry. It's Harry Styles. Ah! His album actually came out this time last year, um, December of last year. And so I got Fine Line. I got it. I loved it. So excited for it. I remember looking forward to it because I had loved his debut album. Loved it. And if I could buy that record, I would as well. But I just saw these one at a store. And I was like, yes, no shipping, no waiting weeks for a record to come or whatever. So I'm really happy with it. And so, yeah, that's my little haul. It's not that long of a video, honestly. I just wanted to show you guys what I got because I did get a lot of things for myself this birthday and wasn't expecting to. Yeah, this year was just really weird. And so I didn't really want to put this like pressure on myself to buy myself gifts every day I still did because the act of it genuinely gives me joy going into a store and buying something knowing that it's for yourself and that you want it and you deserve it and you're gonna get it without any guilt tripping rationalizing all that stuff. forget that I want it I got it what did Ari say I like it I see it I want it I got it that's how I feel and it's great to feel that way sometimes and although I did not think I was going to participate in like the 17 days of gift giving for myself I did and I hope you guys have like joyous um, traditions or like joyous acts of kindness towards yourselves because I didn't realize how much I needed it this year I'm turning 25 I don't think I said that I'm turning 25 tomorrow it's exciting, scary, very sad about it. I'm never sad about my birthday. I'm never sad about birthdays, but my birthday, you can't tell me anything. I'm planning for my birthday so hard usually, and this year I just was not up to it. And 
the root of it all is because of like pressure. There's so much pressure we've been put under this year in general. And I just didn't want to look at my birthday as a burden, as like another task to take care of. Because I do truly enjoy planning and having a great birthday. So this year, um, and that's what I realized last night. I was like, oh, it's just too much pressure that I'm putting on myself for no reason. I want to enjoy it however I want it. And so yeah, that made me feel better. Today is sunny outside. Um, I did my makeup, I put on a cute outfit, I'm gonna go out, I'm gonna go get some flowers, um, get some Ethiopian food, and just, it's pre-birthday vibes, you know? Thank you so much for watching, I hope to see you in my next one, and until then, be happy, be healthy, be safe out in these streets, I'll see you guys.